Hey, welcome to Make Better Drinks. I'm David, and today we're talking about using bourbon versus rye in a Manhattan. And these are pretty similar spirits, but they actually have some important differences that are gonna make an impact on the cocktail. So today we're gonna make a couple of Manhattans, one with bourbon, one with rye, and then we'll taste them and talk about the differences uh, to help you figure out which one you might like more. So, let's make some drinks. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the differences between rye and bourbon. Now these are both American products and they're both made in charred new oak barrels. But the difference is that with bourbon, it's actually made with 51% at least uh, corn mash, whereas with rye, it has to be made with at least 51% rye mash. And then the rest of it can be some combination of corn, wheat, or malted barley. And that's basically it. So uh, with that out of the way, let's go ahead and make the cocktails. All right, let's make a couple of Manhattans. I'm gonna use a really classic recipe here. I'm gonna start with two dashes of uh, Angostura bitters in each one of uh, these mixing glasses that I've got set up here. And then I'm gonna move on to uh, some dry, uh, sorry, some sweet vermouth. So I'm using uh, Dolan uh, Rouge, which uh, I really like. It's a, uh, it's a very nice vermouth, and you, of course you can use whatever vermouth you happen to have on hand. But uh, you know, Dolan is just, uh, plays a really nice backing role. It's not too assertive. And especially where we're trying to compare the uh, the bourbon and the rye this time, I think this is a really nice vermouth to use in this particular uh, version of the cocktail. Uh, next up, I'm going to add the base spirit, so two ounces each, and I'm going to start with uh, the bourbon. I'm using Buffalo Trace here, and uh, you know Buffalo Trace is just a really classic bourbon. Uh, it has a lot of the characteristics that a lot of people associate with uh, with bourbon, so I think it's going to be a really good example uh, to use in this particular cocktail. Uh, and then next I'm going to move on to the rye. So here I have uh, Rittenhouse rye, which is uh, also very popular uh, in the bartending community. Uh, and it's actually bottled at 100 proof or 50% uh, alcohol. So it is going to have a little bit of a kick to it, but I think that's going to go really well in a Manhattan. You know, this is kind of a, a late night drink. And so having uh, a little bit stronger proof is, uh, is going to go well. Uh, and that's basically the whole drink. So now I'm just going to add my ice and I'm going to give these a stir. So I'll grab my strainer and I'll pour out uh, each of these drinks. Uh, the Manhattan is traditionally garnished with a cherry. I have some nice uh, maraschino cherries here. And there we have it. A couple of classic Manhattans, uh, one made with rye and one made with bourbon. All right, so bourbon versus rye. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Start with the, uh, with the bourbon. Yeah, it's very, uh, very mellow, very harmonious. Like you can taste the the bourbon melding with the other ingredients there. So it kind of forms its own, like a, a, a unified whole. Yeah, I'm actually surprised how much of the vermouth I can taste in this one. Normally Dolan plays a real backing role, but I get a lot of those herbal qualities that I associate with the vermouth. Uh, and it's not, you know, overbearing, but I agree with you. It's kind of standing up to the bourbon. Yeah, this tastes like a, a pretty well-balanced cocktail. Like if you ordered something from a cocktail bar, that's the kind of cocktail I expect. Let's try the rye. All right. Yeah, that definitely stands out. Like you get the rye, you get the background uh, flavors as well. They kind of augment it though. They're more like uh, background singers to the, the main event there. Yeah, I like, I, I really noticed the rye spice in this one. And that's what really comes across in this cocktail. So, and, and I like that I tasted this after the bourbon because I can really tell the difference. So that, that rye is very assertive and I don't taste as many of those sort of uh, subtle herbal notes of the, of the vermouth in this one. Yeah, the rye pretty much uh, just stands out from that. And that's actually not a bad thing in, in this. Like, I, I kind of like that. Yeah, I have to say, you know, comparing the two of them, um, I, I prefer the, uh, the rye version. I, I really think it kind of asserts itself more. And in a Manhattan, um, this is kind of the flavor profile that I expect. Uh, whereas even though this drink might be technically a bit more balanced, where I taste more of the bourbon and more of the vermouth, there's just something kind of lacking there. It feels a bit flat. Yeah, I think that if you're adverse to like, you know, more stronger drinks, then maybe the bourbon would uh, be better for you. But in terms of, if you want a drink that really features uh, the main ingredient, then the rye is probably the way to go. You get a lot of standout flavor in that. Yeah, I agree. So yeah, I think we're pretty unanimous on this one. I think the rye is probably 
better for most people. Uh, although I will also say uh, there are lots of bourbons with a high rye content and Buffalo Trace is fairly low in rye content. So uh, maybe if you find the rye a bit too assertive, you could try a bourbon with a little bit more rye than the Buffalo Trace. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, just one more thing. So we talked about American rye, but we never said anything about Canadian rye. And that's because it's actually a totally different product. Uh, ryes in Canada don't actually have to have any rye in them. They usually have a little, but they're actually mostly corn mash. So if you happen to find a Canadian rye on the shelf and you're thinking maybe this will taste very similar to an American rye, you'd probably be disappointed. So there you have it. Uh, we really recommend the rye uh, over the bourbon in a Manhattan, but if you're not a big rye fan, maybe try a bourbon that has a bit more of a high rye content. So something like a Bullet or Wild Turkey 101. You know, it's gonna give you some of that classic rye spice, but be a little bit more balanced uh, for your palate. So thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments what your favorite bourbon or rye is to use in a Manhattan. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.